Uh, Taylor! Finally home. Finally home. What did we do all day? Uh, well, we drove, 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 drove for what? We were driving around for eight hours. More than that, probably. Uh, I don't know. We left at like 8.30. Yeah. Um, and it is 7.48. Okay, so a good 12 hours of uh, driving around looking for trucks. <laughs> and first place we went to, supposed to have five short beds. So we had two short beds, nothing actually worth buying because of the price mostly. Uh, he said 1500 bucks for all of them, and it'll be in around you know 3500 bucks each, and none of them were, yeah, probably worth 3500 bucks, but not really. They were to beat to crap. Yeah, and the, there was a nice long bed with like patina, but yeah, so I, I looked at it, I thought I was going to buy it, and then Eric kind of talked me out of it. It was, the patina was nice, except there was a, literally a dent on every panel of that every truck corner, including yeah. the the bedside the was bowed out because of the stuff they you know yeah. crammed so much stuff in the bed at one point in time the roof even the top corners of the roof had dents yep that was rough. it was a 354 speed though which was pretty cool but yeah the it's thing was worth what he was asking anything but it's just not really what i was looking for if you could have gotten it for a little cheaper you could have maybe made a little bit of money off of yeah, it but exactly. i don't think it's yeah what we were exactly looking for then we went to a second place after that um the other guys are Second place was that big junkyard, right? Yeah. That, that lady, lady. I don't know how they make any money there. We went there. We had two <laughs> empty trailers, pocket full of cash, and we were like, these guys had hundreds, maybe a thousand cars. 85 out there. acres, they 85 said. 85 acres full of cars. So there's, we roll up, there's a bunch of old Impalas, like a bunch of good stuff. Um, there's a whole section of Ford trucks, and there's probably a Chevy truck section out there. And uh, we went in there, she's like, What are you looking for? I'm like, I don't know, your 60s, 70s muscle cars or trucks, right? She's like, You gotta be more specific than that. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, how about a uh, 67 to 72 Chevy C yeah, pickup? You got those? C10s. Like, yeah, I don't know, you gotta talk to my husband. Um, he's <laughs> dealing with this and this and this and this, and this is his 401k, so we're not gonna let you just walk out there. And like, <laughs> I don't know, did I bend you for somehow? I don't know. So yeah, that, just that place was weird. So we just, well, we'll wait after these people, I guess, and we didn't even bother doing that. Yeah, we just, we, we just left. Walked the line a little bit, and we're like, yeah, this is not. We're, we're not gonna they walked down the fence line. Everything looked like it, it looked like a regular junkyard, almost like they're picking stuff apart. Yeah. So the price we looked online, their prices were. Too they were high. asking way too much for some junk right. as well. Yeah. So left, moved on. Yep. Keep on driving. We fit one, one more kind of like scrap yard, tow yard, something. He had some C10s. The dude like sold like a few like auto parts, like some batteries and stuff. And yeah, it's a weird. Sounded like he's like a mechanic maybe. Yeah. Like he did work on people's cars. Yep. But yeah, part of his yard was just full of a bunch of old cars. A couple C10s. Same thing. Your uh, floating C10. That thing was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, there was one that finally had it was a nice blue color, good patina. It didn't even have wheels on it. It was floating on some stuff, had things stacked on it. Sitting like crooked and sideways. Yeah, but it looked, looked nice, straight car. And I was like, okay, may, like I don't think I need any of these trucks, but maybe like since we didn't find anything after a whole drive out to Lamar, how much did he want? 3500 bucks for a long bed, like not running. <laughs> I don't think there's a motor in it. It's floating, doesn't have wheels. I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> not on the same page. I was thinking a thousand, maybe. Yeah, and it's maybe. Where, well, and it was still to the shit. point of where it was sitting, all the crap that was sitting in front of it. Happy day. What it was sitting on, it was not going to be easy to even get. No. So then we started just cruising the small towns as we came back and forth from Lamar. At that point, it was probably like, what, five o'clock by the time we got to. Yeah, we're, to your place. we're what, three, three plus hours away from my house? Yeah. So yeah, we didn't really find anything. So I was pretty sad. I had you know pocket full of cash and an empty trailer at the end of the day, and then <laughs> nothing to account for. So we ended up where? Um, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter mile, mile from, in that direction. Yeah. And you know the other side of my neighborhood. Yeah, we didn't have to take a 12-hour drive for you know. So at least my neighbor down that way has had this truck for a while. Uh, he's been working on it. He's been doing some work on it. He's had it for about a year and a half. Uh, he got it lowered. And so, and he's got another truck over there, which we've talked to him about before. It's a 68 C10, yeah, 68. short bed. Basically exactly it's, what I'm looking for, but. It was rougher than I remember though. It was, the bed was bowing out. I don't remember that. Yeah. But apparently it was there, but yeah. It's, it looked really cool in, in my memory. And every time I drive by it, it I think it's just looked better. But when, yeah, seeing it in person again, it was so much rougher than I remember. Yeah. So he yeah, had this sitting here though too. And we kind of asked him about that other C10. No, no, you don't want to build that, keep that. But this is for sale. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's a short bed. 
I like the two tone. I've talked to Eric a couple times about how I like. Like some people don't like the brown. I think it's pretty sweet. The brown this, tan. you know, to me, it, it, I, I, it's like my Chargers, mm -hmm. the 66s. Yeah. 66, 67. That silver with that red interior. Weirdest combination you could really think of. Yeah. But that has really grown on me, and I think I think that's how these are becoming. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, just the browns. I feel like browns never should be a good color on a vehicle. Right. But like this, these are starting to look awesome. Yeah, and it's pretty, and pretty done most of the stuff I want. Lower, pretty much. We can go lower in the front. It needs to go lower in the front. The it's definitely that, sitting lower in the back than it is the front. Yeah, I don't want to be doing wheelies. But, so it needs to be dropped down. I'm probably going to do wheels. Might stock, as well. The stock wheels, I mean, are neat. Good. But yeah, they it needs something bigger. So yeah, he, he did just the axle flop with the leaf springs and a C notch. C notch. Rear. And then he did lowering spindles up front, I think he said? Yep. Yeah, so that's the proper way to do it, with get the alignment. And straight. apparently there is such a thing as a Royal Sierra. I'm going to call it the Royale. The Royale? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might as well, man. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would call it. Yeah, Your Royale. call it in, in uh, France, right? That's uh, what they would call it in France. <laughs> Royale with cheese. Uh, yeah, so the interior, I think that that's just fun projects. I yeah. have, you know, the faceplate for I that. Mean, I'll get a good steering wheel. The seat that is fa fabulous. Yeah, this is actually, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. This is in good shape. Mm -hmm. I don't know that this pattern would ever be available if you need to redo it. No, but I'll but lock the pattern. It's pretty gnarly. How's the wheel under this? I meant to ask that. I think it's a little sticky. A little sticky. I mean, that's normal, but I mean, first look, I don't think I see any cracks. Yeah. Which is good. I'm not a fan of, uh, your wheel covers like this especially when they're on the little skinny mm -hmm. old school steering wheels because then they give you all this extra and they're just really gross looking yeah i don't know i might even... you're right it's sticky i got sticky <laughs> shit all over yeah. my fingers That's i'll find a good steering wheel it has to be some sort of uh oem gmc we'll see you know what i've seen I'm, i don't know if you want to pay the money on it mm -hmm. but they look awesome what? the uh i don't know i think they're the chevelles or el caminos or Steering wheels from them? Marrows, whatever, yeah, the, the sport steering wheels. Mm -hmm. They look similar to the Mopars, but I think they're only a two two spoke. And they're the chroma centers and then wood grain. Yeah, I'm after looking at that. As long as it's uh, you know, a GM product, then it is I'll yep, it. GM and uh, those those I've seen a couple of those on these trucks. I don't know why they're popular and, and so they look awesome. <laughs> yeah, I did not want to rock this bad boy. He was I think if <laughs> he had this truck any longer he would start doing some crazy stuff like maybe some nineties interior. Yeah, if, if he would have kept it too much longer, it probably would have had a nineties step side on it too. Yeah, I mean check out the back. This is Oh I mean it's even got the yeah. the nineties bumper. Into it a little too far. Luckily the nineties bumper that's too narrow for the uh, truck. Yeah, this is got off so this is going real quick. The one that hold up. Yeah, it's do we have like a gap over here and we don't over here? No, it's like almost, yeah, it's, it's almost touching back here. Your yeah. chrome's over it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this thing's terrible. Yeah, a nice chrome bumper. The plastic, what's wrong with the plastic on top? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, Matches right. the rest of this truck beautifully. Yeah, all the plastic all over this truck. <laughs> all the plastic all over this truck. Yeah. That just needs to go away. At least just for now, just take it off. Even just rock the I no bumper look yeah. for now. I'll probably do that. Before even just, first thing. So, yeah, dude, this thing's killer. Yeah. I mean, I probably, I paid more than I was going to pay for <laughs> bunch of trucks you know earlier today but i think it's worth it yeah uh, this is cool it's got good exhaust under it it's Did straight no rush i mean there's a couple little pins and yeah stuff. literally so rust wise on this thing let me get this on here because i think the most rust you've got was you got spots like this and then i think this is the worst i saw which was on top yeah. was this guy and this that's literally the worst of the rust on this truck the rest of it, I mean, there is nothing on this thing. And being the GMC with the whatever Royale trim thing, this is probably one of the top of the line packages you can buy back in the day. Yep. It's an AC truck. I mean, 350, you got the V8. I mean, if you're gonna buy a square body, this is pretty yeah. much the coolest one you can get. I think so. Some people might not like the brown, but I can, I can. We still got the chrome bumper, you know, once again, it's in the 80s, it does. Yeah, matter. they get. Front end's not as good. This has that total kind of 70s vibe. Yeah. And it's pretty much sitting where I need it, so. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, drove, I don't know how many, hundreds of miles to come back home and buy this. Yep. <laughs> that, that, uh, yeah, at least gas is cheap these days. That's so. true. All right, well, uh, we'll keep you guys updated yeah. with all these fun projects you got. Yeah, I got my stuff I got yesterday, so yeah. those will be some content videos coming up uh we're gonna be doing something with this i'm sure yeah i think you're talking about driving this around for a while i think i will yeah. i mean this is you might as well this is, this is awesome yeah this is, this is a cool truck it needs a couple little things 
but other than that yeah we'll keep you all updated on some upcoming videos and more content and yeah see you guys next time